Previously on All My Children. I apprehended the perp. Uh, I am the marketing executive. Yeah, she was defacing public property with these. We're going to hit Wildwind tonight. You'll crack the safe, and then we'll hit to Paradise Island, Bahamas. You stole my serum. You gave it to your wife without her knowing, and now what? What, you want me to wave a magic wand and make her better? Gentry's reviewing your daughter's labs. How many labs does need to review to see that she's burning up? She can't hardly breathe. Daddy, do uh... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mr. Montgomery, perhaps it would be best for Lily if you waited outside. Mrs. Knapp, would you like to explain to me how the hell a thing like this could happen? You're supposed to be taking care of my daughter, am I right? It came on quite suddenly. I... Why wasn't I called immediately when she fell ill? Daddy, am I going to die? No, honey, you are not going to die, my sweet. Absolutely not. You see that bag hanging there? It has medicine in it, and it is going to make you well, okay? Promise? Absolutely and positively, I promise. Jack. Eric, what are you doing here? Uh, well, Joe called. He said that Lily was brought in this morning. What happened, Jack? My little girl is fighting viral pneumonia. And she's losing. No offense, Mia, but I am so sick of seeing your face. Oh, yeah. You know what? How many of these damn things did someone put up anyway? My arms are killing me. Oh, would you shut up? It's good for your muscle tone, all right? If I want to work out, I'll go to the gym. Yeah, I'll rape Simone's neck. I could kill her for slapping these posters up all over town. I mean, who the hell is she anyway? This is her mess. She should be cleaning it up, not us. Let her take the misdemeanor rap. Greenlee, we all signed off in this gorilla marketing thingy, you know? Get Fusion's face out there. Mm -hmm. But what we have out there is Miss Howdy lips wrapped around her fiance. Oh, nice. Hey, isn't that your face? Yeah. Hot poster. Why are you tearing it down? Campaign's over. We've got the word out. What word? Rage. Why isn't shine, lover? Mm. Morgan, what time is it? Too late for lunch. Too early for dinner. God, I would kill for a pint and a packet of crisps. Ugh. I thought we were going to go into Wildwood and crack this off. Yeah, well, I just really enjoy watching you sleeping. Now we're going to have to wait till dark. Great. Oh, we're not waiting. We're going in. Now. In broad daylight. What, have you lost your mind or something? Hmm. What's the matter, love? Just falling for that bandy-eyed bimbo weakened your nerve? Maria, I did this to you. You're sick. Because of me. What did you do? <coughs> it meant... Stella said that I could come up. I refused something. Pobre nena. Mia. Mia. What did the doctor say? I haven't called the doctor. What? Your, your wife has a fever. Why aren't you helping her? I 
thought about calling a doctor. Edmund, your, your wife is sick with a fever. Why would you hesitate? Um, Isabella. I know what would happen if I took her to the hospital. She'd just... She'd just be in a room with a bunch of other sick people and... It would take an hour, and then they'd just give her some aspirin and tell her to drink a lot of fluids, and I'm already doing that. This could be something serious. It's probably just just the flu bug that's that's going around and hitting everyone, you know? But, but to be safe, Joe Martin would come if you called him. Look, why bring him all the way out here on a night like this? You know what she needs? She needs TLC, that's all. Just TLC. Edmund. <coughs> Edmund. Corazón, corazón, it, it, it's Mama. I'm here. I'll, I'll take care of you. Uh, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Edmund, this is not like you. Trust me, Isabella, I have things under control. But, but just to be on the safe side, call Joe. Please. Isabella Maria is my wife. She's, and she's my daughter. She's my daughter. If you don't call a doctor, I will. Oh, Jack, I know how scared you are. I know that having a sick child is a parent's worst nightmare. You want to know what the worst thing about this is? Lily has no idea. She, 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 she does not understand what is happening to her. All she knows is that everything hurts and she can't breathe. But you know that she's getting the best care possible. Oh, help me. Oh, I'm right here, Lily. I'm right here. Daddy's right here, sweetheart. Oh, no. Oh, no, teacher. I want my teacher. I want to go back to school. Why? Well, you're going to go back to school just as soon as we get you out, well, okay? No, I don't like this place. It smells bad. I want my teacher. All right, all right, honey, honey, please, just take way back. No, no, it's Henry. No, it's Henry. It hurts. Can you do something for her, please? No, it's Henry. And what is that? Something to help her relax. No. No. Teacher. I'm here, Lily. Teacher's here. Teacher. Mr. Montgomery, would you like me to take over for a while? No, I would not, Mrs. Neff. She's my daughter, okay? Jack? I'm not going anywhere. Jack, how long have you been here? Several hours. I tried to get him to take a break. Jack, look, you're not going to do Lily any good if you make yourself sick. Why don't you let Mrs. Neff sit with her for a while? And look, look, Lily's sleeping. And what if she wakes up and asks for me and I'm not here? I'll let you know the moment she opens her eyes. Come on, Jack. Come home with me just for a little while. Come on. is the name of our new cosmetics yes. uh, we are promoting a new lip color called Rioja for the lips that say bite me that shade's the same as the new enchantment lip color I just bought great enchantments here even without posters so uh, where can I get this Rioja lip color uh, it's in limited distribution right now yeah it's extremely limited like not even on the shelves well thanks for wasting my time no 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 no, no wait please 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 don't go um Come back in an hour and we will be giving out free samples of our fabulous new lip color. And for your friends. All of them. What are you, nuts? We don't have any free samples. We're not going to let that piddly little, little detail stop us. Excuse me, business partner. What scheme are you hatching that we're going to regret? Relax. I will tell you about it later. Mia, come with me. Stop tearing those posters down. Stand up here. What? Right now. Come on. What? Get up here right now. Buy your picture and sell it. What am I selling? Your lips. What else? You know, I've got to believe that you have better things to do. I can't think of one. 
Well, I don't think it's right that I come over here and depress you with my problems. Well, you're worried. Think about your daughter. Yeah, I am, Erica, but that's not your problem. Look, my mother always said, it lightens the load if you share it. And your mother was a wise woman, no doubt, but I don't think talking's going to help. Well, we don't have to talk. I mean, I know what you're going through. I mean, you feel with a sick child like you're just completely helpless and, and, and alone. It's a very, very lonely place. Yes, it is. I remember this. I remember this, oh, with Bianca, with her anorexia. I never felt so helpless or so alone. But as much as anybody could, you are the one who who really gave me the strength, you know, to hold on, to, to keep my faith. Well, Bianca pulled through, thank God. And so will Lily. Oh, Erica, you don't know how badly I need to believe that. Believe it. <laughs> Why, because you say so. I am Erica Kane. As if I could ever forget that. <laughs> As if I'd ever let you. Oh, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Okay, I tell you what, why don't you just stay put and relax and um, I can't believe I'm going to say this, I'm becoming my mother. I am going to make you a nice pot of hot tea. You know your way around the tea bag. You would be surprised what I could do for the people who are close to my heart. I'll be right back. Okay. Where's my head? that way. I'm glad I brought my inspector's badge with me. Getting past that garbage child's play. Look, we still have our work cut out for us. So don't count you chicken shit. Yeah, your work, I'll watch. Move it. Do you mind when you're pointing that thing? I would make a rotten voice of father. Yeah. Or else you'll end up seriously dead if you double cross me. Oh, ye of such little faith. Just like old times. Get out of my neck. Brian, you know, take all the romance out of it. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Right now, why don't we just confine your special forces on cracking this safe? I'm not leaving this room until you phone for a doctor. If you don't, I'll call 911. Either way, my daughter's going to get the help she needs. Mia, Edmund's gonna send for a doctor. I'll call Hayward. No. No, Edmund. No, Hayward. Okay, sweetheart. I'll, I'll call Jake. Thank you. Jake. Hi. Uh, it's Edmund Gray. Yeah, listen, I'm sorry to bother you. It's... It's Maria. She's sick. Yeah, she's real sick. I, I don't know what's wrong with her. Yeah, I would take her down to the ER, but... Uh... Okay, thanks. Jake Martin is on his way. <clears throat> We're gonna find out what's making you so sick. movies where you just spin the dial and the safe pops open, you know? Yeah, well, the longer you take, the more likely we're going to get caught. <laughs> Maybe that's what you want. Don't be daft. Yeah. Maybe you're hoping for a sighting of Maria. Or the reunion of two star-crossed lovers. <sighs> the plan is, you and me and the King's Ransom sail off to some tropical paradise. First, show me the money, then we'll talk about travel plans. 
Taking so long. It'll be just a second. Yeah. Where the hell is Kendall? I don't know. What is going on? Mommy? What is going on? Oh, I don't have a clue. Kendall just swoops in, plucks me out of the office. Wait, wait, why aren't the posters all down? Well, what's the sense in doing guerrilla marketing if we don't follow up with guerrilla product distribution? Now, look, look, I want each of you guys to take these and just touch up the color that you already have. Give her some. And then what? And then we give the people what they don't know they want yet, huh? Just pucker up, gloss up, and leave the rest to me. Okay. Um, attention, everybody. People, people, gather around. Come on, gather around. Now, do you guys remember way back when you used to play with your mom's makeup and there were only, like, two shades, red and redder? Well, this is very exciting. This is not your mother's makeup. <laughs> no. No, no, it's not. And you are not going to find this behind some dusty old cosmetic counter in some drugstore where some little old lady wearing turquoise eyeshadow is, you know, pushing talcum powder. That's <laughs> right, that's right. Fusion is a cosmetics company run by women who know the look they want and they know how to get it. Yeah. Not ripped <laughs> off the pages of some high-gloss fashion magazine, but totally, uniquely, you. Yes. Rioja is a full-bodied red wine made from Spanish grapes. It's also Fusion's premier lip color. Mm -hmm. Drench your lips with it. Give him a kiss that'll leave him breathless and your lips unsmudged from breakfast to bedtime. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, without any further ado, we are so proud to introduce to you Mia, the face of Fusion. <laughs> yeah, what face do you want to show the world? Experience Fusion. Make it your makeup. Now, I want every woman here to sample the lip color that will revolutionize the way you see yourself. Oh, and guys, take one for that special lady in your life. She'll love you for it. And time's running out because pretty soon this is going to be hitting the high-end boutiques for Mucho Dinero. Yeah, only available while samples last. So, grab one. Excuse me, hi. Hi. Did you find this for me? Oh, sure. Oh, oh, be sure to check out Fusion's website for the list of our Fusion retailers. Oh, and guys, remember, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Don't you think we should, like, take down these posters before uh, the cabin security comes? Wait, check it out. Someone wants me as look for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll let her have her five minutes. The next part is going to have my name and face all over it. Oh. Only if you don't blow up the photo shoot. Here, did you get one back there? There you go. You don't like my tea. No, it's, it's, it's great. Well, I still remember how to boil water. Jack, worrying about Lily isn't going to help her. I know that. But I can't help it. I mean, you were there, you saw her. You saw how scared she is. Yes, because hospitals can be very scary places for a child. It's just so damn unfair. What? What is it? You know, growing up is tough enough for kids without Lily's problems. You know, she's had to work ten times as hard as anybody else to get half as far. And look at the remarkable progress she has You're made. You're right she has, hasn't she? Yes. I mean, the first time that she could write her name in longhand, it was... <laughs> Erica, her smile was wall to wall. And, and, and last summer, we were actually able to go to a baseball game, and she could tolerate the crowd's noise without wearing her earmuffs. I know. Every step that this little girl has taken, she has taken with grace and humor and determination. And this is what she gets. Lily is the last child in the world who should ever have to suffer about anything. Oh, no, Jack, no child deserves to suffer, and especially your own. God, Erica, I don't know what I would do without Lily in my life. I don't. I don't. And if I lose her, I... You're not going to lose her? She's my family. You know? I mean, without my little girl, without my angel, I'll be all alone. I won't, I won't you, have anyone. You listen to me, Jack. Lily is not going to leave you. 
she's going to get well and she's going to grow up and she's going to do whatever she dreams of doing and you are going to grow old watching her do it and i am too sleek and chic as usual because it's the way it is because when all is said and done we are family we have each other and that my dear dear jack that's never going to change Hey, yeah, thanks for getting here so fast. Sure, sure, no problem. Listen, tell me what's going on with Maria. Uh, well, she's upstairs. She's got a uh, fever, you know, like night sweats and chills. Mm-hmm. And the symptoms started when? Last night. Okay, and she's worse today? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's that flu that's going around. Well, any other symptoms? Headache, nausea? Off and on, yeah. All right, do you know she's had a flu shot? Uh, no, I don't know. All right, know. let's go upstairs and see what we're dealing with. Okay, thanks. Your lady fares not so well since my last visit. I was three seconds away from getting into the safe and you pushed past me and ruined all my work. Now, now, safety first. You don't want to leave any telltale marks now, do you, love? Unless you want to get caught with your trousers down. We are here to do a job. Let's get on with it. Yeah, not so fast. Let's just wait for the doctor to make his house call. We'll proceed when he's gone. Now, who's stalling? A re-killer or what? I can't believe it. Why, that we're totally ahead? I bet one of your ideas actually worked. Hmm. We really sold it. <laughs> and the guys were like, it's totally cranked on me. Hey, you can't tell Jake to get in line. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> the revolution isn't all about me. It's all about all of us. Yeah, and speaking for all of us, I think we're all pretty damn fine. Mm -hmm. You guys know what? what? We should do what? <laughs> we should line up a college tour for Fusion. PR, Fusion on campus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 not to burst our collective bubble, but we can't make the Fortune 500 giving away free samples. I thought it was just promotion. Well, you know how to prime the pump? Hold like that it. thought. I mean, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Greenlee Dupre. Greenlee, darling. Maxi Berlin. It's great to hear from you again. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, you can get a shipment of your Rioja lip color over to Lacey's as soon as possible. How did you hear about Rioja? Well, girls who've been seeing your poster have been coming and asking for it. Can you supply the demand you created? Of course. I'll get on it right away. You guys, you guys, you guys, come here. That was Maxie Berlin <gasps> from Lacey's. What, can't what, what did she want? <laughs> what, uh, our recipe for fudge brownies, what do you think? What, it looks like the fine <laughs> we paid for legal poster plastering was worth it. Girls have been storming Lacey's looking for Rioja lip color. We've got to get our inventory. Wait a minute. What, what inventory? <laughs> what do you mean, what inventory? We've got a warehouse full of boxes. <laughs> we'll just go back to the office and we'll pick them up. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? What? Well, those, those, those boxes, they're filled, but not with lip color. I mean, we've got products and we have shampoo and lots of body lotion, but, but we need lip color. Well, that was the last of it. Well, of course. I'm family. I mean, I'm Bianca's good old Uncle Jack, after all. <laughs> you know, since Travis died, you have been a second father to her. And Bianca adores you. Well, the feeling's mutual. You know that. You always seem to know exactly what she needs, oh, when she needs it, even when I don't, especially when I don't. Well, you want to know what the trick is there? I just think of her as a junior version of you. Oh, no. No, not at all, really. I was just <laughs> hell on wheels when I was her age. I'm I, sure. I had a lot of nerve, but I, I didn't have the the real courage that Bianca has, that she showed when she was outed, and you were her rock. You know that. Yeah, well, you came around. You know that, too. I wasted a lot of time. I wasted precious time, Jack, in not giving her the support that she needed. Yeah. Well, I guess we've all, you know, been there. What do you mean? I owe you an apology, Erica. A huge apology. And it's long, long overdue. An, an apology you for see, what? I didn't, I didn't understand what it was like to have a child ripped from your life, knowing that there was nothing, nothing in the world that would ever fill that empty space. Are you talking about Lily? No. No, I'm talking about Bianca. 
I'm talking about when you and Travis were battling over custody of her and you asked me to lie for you on the stand so that you could keep her and I refused. Well, you had your reasons, Jack. You, you, you had your ethics. <laughs> my ethics. Yeah, my precious ethics, but that's not what it was, Erica. Um, I wanted to punish you. I wanted to punish you for choosing Travis, for loving Travis. I wanted to hit you where it would hurt the most, and that's exactly what I did. Jack, don't. But that was before, Lily. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was before I realized how a child just, just, just takes root in your heart. And now that I could lose her, I, 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 I know I would sell my soul to keep her with me. So what I'm saying is now I understand the hell that I put you through, Erica. And I am so, so sorry. So sorry. And I just hope that one day you can... You can find it in your heart to forgive me. That's all. Jack. I forgave you a long time ago. Well, I'm not sure I deserve that. I know you... You feel that you made a wrong choice. Well, I've made wrong choices, too. I mean, for example, not seeing Bianca for the wonderful girl that she is. Oh, Erica, that's... that's behind you. Because I learned something. We all grow up from, from one crisis, one disappointment, one setback to another. We have learned so much from our daughters. About... Oh, gratitude and, and fear and humility. And we're going to keep on learning, all of us. You and me and, and Lily and Bianca. Because that's what you do when you're family, Jack. That's just what you do when you, when you love each other. Well, the lungs are clear. I'll get this blood back to the lab and we'll run a serious panel on you. Jake, is it something serious? Well, right now we're just covering the basis. But, but we think it might be the flu. Which is probably the case. But, but, but if it's not? I want you to relax and not worry at this point, okay? Mama, I'm going to be fine, I promise. <clears throat> I promise. Duerme, mi angelita. Duerme. Y que tenga sueños lindos. Mm -hmm. Jake, what do we do now? Edmund, exactly what you have been doing. I think bed rest, ibuprofen, lots of liquids. And uh, I'll give you a call just as soon as I get the blood work back, okay? Thanks. All right. I'll walk you down. Oh, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up the kids at school. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. You rest. Okay. Thank you. Listen, uh... I'll put a rush on that blood work. Thanks, Jake. Hello, this is Dr. David Hayward. Please feel free to leave a message after the tone, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Hayward, this is Edmund. Maria's, she's still sick, okay? And Jake Martin was here doing uh, some blood work. So whatever you have to do, do it. And do it now. Maria's much sicker than you're letting on, isn't she? Well, it's like I said upstairs. It's probably a severe flu. And we're going to know more once the blood work's completed. But she's so weak and... I know, I know, but that's symptomatic of the flu. In the meantime, I want you to try to relax. Edmund is taking great care of her. And, you know, until we know what this is, you might want to keep the kids away from her. Mm -hmm. All right? So speaking of kids, I'm sure they're anxious to see you. <laughs> You 
got 60 seconds to open that safe. Or else your precious Maria is going to have more than the bloody flu to worry about. You gave away our entire inventory of Rioja lip color? You helped. I didn't know it was the last of the friggin' line. Kendall, think. Are you really positively sure that that's the last in the warehouse? Did you look everywhere? Yes, yes, I did. The boxes are filled, but with other products. That was all we had left of the lip color. Great. This is just friggin' great. This is what I warned you about, Greenlee. <sighs> your gross incompetence? No, your lack of vision. What have I been trying to pound through your tiny little skull since day one? Product, product, product. There should be no marketing gorilla, chimpanzee, orangutan without freaking product. Well, I got this one. Oh. You know, this is seriously bad. No, it is more than bad. If we don't stock lacy shelves with our non-existent Rioja lip color, we're out of business. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, what am I thinking? Okay, um... I'm thinking you and I are quite a pair, aren't we? All these years, everything we've been through, we're still connected. Yeah. It's like we've, through all the fights and the fallings out and the making up and the breaking up and all that do up song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> still a part of each other. I think maybe the best part. How many times have I thrown you out my door and out of my life? Mm -hmm. And how many times have you opened that door and let me walk back in? Well, we've been everything to each other. Yes, we have. Let's see, we were friends, lovers, enemies, <laughs> confidants, combatants, <laughs> just about everything. And we love people just dance in and out of our lives, and at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I am sitting face to face with the most fascinating, the most infuriating, the most complicated woman that has ever been my pleasure to love. Well, there were times I thought I lost you forever. You could never lose me. Not a chance. You're as much a part of my life as Lily is, because you know what? You took root in my heart the day I met you. And you will live there until the day I die. Jack.
first, I was encouraged because you started to get your memory back. You started to reconnect with with your medical knowledge and and with our children. And and your mother was happy for the first time in five years. So I gave you a few more drops. And then you got sick. So instead of helping you, I risked your life. But I promise you, we will get you better. before you ever see me again. Come on, get on with it. The next, all my children. I don't know whether it's uh, this gun barrel bullet imagery, but I'm getting really hot. My lips are green. Oh, we're pumping. Oh, oh, we are so dead. How could this happen? Get a daily dose of Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway on SoapNet. Tune in for Soap Talk weekdays at 9 a.m., 7 p.m., and again at 12 midnight. Three chances to catch the latest soap scoop and more. Soap Talk. It's that talk show only SoapNet can do.